Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to tell you more than tips. Uh, I'm going to give uh, advice uh, related to photography. Okay, seven tips or seven uh, pieces of advice for the month of March 2024. So let's start. This month is a bit different. I'm going to speak about uh, YouTube and uh, well, it's related to photography, but it could be uh, used, what well, I'm going to say, for any anything, okay? So uh, it's not something to explain what's good, what's bad, all this, but to help you maybe to make a better decision uh, when you want to buy something or know how to search or to find content, things like this, okay? So advice number one. Very often, some people tell me, oh, I used to watch a video by this YouTuber, I really liked it, but it doesn't publish uh, anything anymore. Wait, maybe it does simply that YouTube is not showing you what is publishing. First of all, uh, because maybe you are not subscribed to, to his channel. So if you have not subscribed and maybe uh, th two or three times YouTube uh, showed his content to you and you didn't click on it, well, the algorithm thinks you don't like this anymore, so it doesn't show you anymore. So it's important. If you like what a YouTuber is doing, subscribe to his channel. That's really important. Otherwise, very often you will lose track of him and you will not know anything anymore. Second, sometimes people tell me, yeah, I'm subscribed, but I don't see his stuff either. I got no news from him. Yes, because maybe even if you were subscribed uh, two, three, four times, YouTube uh, presented a thumbnail of his videos and you didn't click on it. So it assumes that you're not interested anymore, although you're subscribed. So it's really important you also click on the bell so you get a notification when that person publishes content, okay? I know in my case, I publish in three languages and it's a bit annoying to receive three notifications, but I thank you for it if you accept it because uh, although uh, you have two that bothers you, okay, but there's at least one that is for you. I always publish my, uh, my video in three languages at the same time, okay? So if you receive a notification that doesn't correspond to your language, you can always click on it and the first two lines of the description of my videos, that is written the other two languages. So if you receive in French, one description, you will see English and Spanish. So you can easily uh, pick either one, okay? So I thank you for it. And it's not just for me, for any YouTuber you like to, uh, what he does, subscribe and click on the bell, really important. Advice number two, sometimes you are subscribed to uh, 200, 300, 1,000 channel, and you don't actually know what they're doing, okay? Well, if you're on a web browser, on the left, there is a small uh, thumbnail that says, or some, yeah, a small space there that says, subscribe, subscription. So there you have the list of all the channel you have subscribed to. There's a small dot next to it. If it's in red, they're right now broadcasting live, online, okay, <laughs> like this, like on air, okay? And then if there's a blue dot, it means they've published new videos you have not seen, okay? If there's nothing, normally they have not published anything new, but still check from time to time. But easy, uh, red, they're live, blue, they've published new things. If you're on the app on your smartphone, at the bottom here, it's written, there is a, a small uh, yeah, thumbnail, a small space that says there, subscribed uh, sus subscription okay so there you have the list of all the channel you subscribe to okay advice number three sometimes i hear some people that say yeah but i cannot find anything on youtube so what are you looking for well i want to know about a camera because i'm a i want to start doing photography i want to have information about the camera i could buy to start what do you write in the search in, in the search space in the search box on, on youtube i write camera Yes, and what else? Nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, there are millions of videos about camera. How do you want YouTube to know what you want to see? Specify. Maybe you're interested in a brand like Sony camera or camera for beginners or best camera 2024, but try to specify more, okay? Because otherwise YouTube will serve many things that do not have anything to do with what you're looking for or not precise enough uh, for what you want to do. So try to write this or uh, wildlife lens or perfect camera for street photography or camera for street photography or whatever. Try to specify a lot more. 
And then also maybe you want to uh, have specific information from a specific YouTuber, but you uh, don't know how to search. Well, you can uh, always put the name of the channel and what you're searching for. For example, uh, I reviewed the Sony Alpha 7 uh, C Mark II, okay? But you can write in the search box, Eric Gibault, Sony Alpha or Sony A7 C Mark II, and you can write in English or in French or Spanish in the back if you want, or you don't have to, okay? But you will get the result with the video I made about it. If there's nothing, probably I didn't make any video about this camera, okay? So that's easy. When you search for something, be, con be really, uh, try to specify as much as you can, okay? Obviously, there are some wording, there's no way. So looking for a technique, well, technique, for making pictures under the rain with an umbrella with a red light. Uh, well, yeah, that's a bit too complicated, okay? So try to balance uh, between nothing and, uh, too, too, and too much, okay? Tip number four, don't forget that YouTubers are like in real life, uh, normal people. There are some good person, bad person, honest person, not honest person, sincere, not sincere, uh, mercenaries that try to sell you something or on the other hand people try to be as honest as possible as neutral as possible there are many many type of people uh, people who know what they're speaking about people who don't know at all what they're speaking about but they still speak about it so it's really important when you watch a video don't take it as the universal truth that this guy what he says is perfect I have to yeah, I pray for him because honestly, he's so good. So, no, 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 we are human. We can make mistakes. We can have a partial information because uh, what we received was not okay. We uh, forgot something or uh, we uh, misunderstood something. We are human. Okay, so it's really important that what a YouTuber is telling is his opinion based on the information he has, okay? Assuming he's honest, okay? If he's not honest, then well, that's another story, okay? So it's really important. Uh, don't take everything uh, as a, a truth. Try to, uh, yeah, analyze a bit and don't forget that we can all make mistakes, okay? Advice number five. Um, if you're looking for information because you want to buy a camera or lens, whatever, this is uh, okay for any other product, okay? But my channel is about photography, okay? It's important not to listen just to one YouTuber. Not, don't listen just to me. Listen to other YouTubers also to have different opinions, different point of view, because what I say is based on my own experience or my own needs. So it's important you analyze uh, what you want to do, what you need, all this, and listen to different people to see what matches with what you want to do or you think that Many people say something that no good about the camera, for example, maybe that's right. Or if they all say it's great, maybe it's hype. So try to uh, balance between different opinions. That's really important. And then try to create your own opinion. Okay, it's important. The final decision is always yours. And this is your opinion, not mine. It's important. Okay, advice number six. When we make a video about a camera or a lens or whatever, photography gear in my, in my situation, okay? Uh, we cannot speak about everything in detail. It would be too long, sometimes hours to describe a camera or create a tutorial with every step, every way to use it, all this would be like really too long for uh, watching, okay? So normally we try to uh, say the most important or sometimes what we think is, wow, the most uh, amazing for us, maybe not for you, but maybe for me, okay? So it's important that when you've listened to what we've said, then if you want to buy, always, always, always go to the website of the camera maker or the lens maker and go to specification. Not the part where they said the camera is nice, really, no, forget about that. Go to the text specification and read it. Maybe I did not say this camera has only one SD card or one memory card and you assume there are two. You have to uh, yeah, check that it's true. 
maybe I'll say, yeah, you can do a video 4K. So, oh, that's great, video 4K. Yeah, but maybe it's just limited to 200 bit per second and you need at least 800 bit per second. So go to the, specific, the specification page of the camera maker or the lens maker, all this, to have all the information. If you want to buy, if you don't want to buy, maybe you don't mind. Okay, but if you're going to buy, always uh, do this final check. You can start with it or finish with it, but check what the brand maker, the, the, the camera maker is telling. That's really important, okay? So I think these were the main advice. And there is one last one with actually more than an advice. It's like uh, asking you help for help. It's simply uh, that uh, most YouTubers, we don't get much money from what we're doing. So uh, many, many people think we're all millionaires. But that's not the way it works. So actually, the best way to help the YouTube, YouTuber is when you're going to buy, you use his affiliated links. Normally, we all put them in the description. So uh, if you want to buy a camera, if you use my affiliated links, it will cost you the same quantity of money. It won't you cost you anything more, but that will help me. And that will help me maintain the channel and create content, all this. I know there are also possibility of donation, all this, but in this case, it would be money out of your pocket, uh, extra, okay? In the case, you use the links, doesn't cost you any more, okay? It, costs you, it doesn't cost you more money. It just help me and or help any YouTuber you want to help, okay? Also, uh, in my case, for example, uh, if you want to buy any product by KF Concept, I've indicated a promo uh, discount code, 10% discount until June 2024. If you use uh, Eric 100K, you get 10% discount. So many YouTubers will uh, do that, okay? Obviously for me, if you use mine, better, but maybe I'm not your favorite YouTuber, there are many others you would prefer to help, well, do that with them, okay? But know that, that what uh, YouTube is paying us is not enough to live off YouTube for most of us. A really, really small minor minority is actually living off YouTube, okay? All the rest is thanks to YouTube, but we have to add affiliate links, workshop, many other things we do, okay? So, there's also another way to help. Share videos. If you feel this video is interesting, share it on social networks, in this video or on any video. Or if you're in a WhatsApp group, well, share it there, whatever, if it's related, obviously, okay? So, that's a great way to help YouTuber to keep working and giving you free contents, okay? So, thank you so much for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, a small button down here, and also a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, arishibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I'll show you, I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by KF Concepts, Sandmark, and Flashes by Westcott, more affiliated links, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.